Praise the Lord. You are still warming up. I said, Praise the Lord. If you know, I'm going to inject something into your life, something unforgettable, something you'll always remember, something you'll carry back to school, something that will lift you up like aeroplane. What are you? I said, praise the Lord. <laughs> Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for the creatures of your own hand, sons and daughters here in life to do something, to make something, to become something. Lord, I pray everyone here today, every boy, every girl, son and daughter, will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Power from on high to transform, to change, to lift up, to promote, to make successful, unstoppable, unconquerable, unbeatable. Lord, Put in every life today in Jesus' name. Begin the work now. I will see everyone at the top. Confirm it, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Those who are outside, please pay attention. And those in the basement, pay attention. Something is happening here already. I'm reading from Psalm 144. Psalm 144, verse 9. I will sing a new song unto the Lord. O God, upon the sanctuary, and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. Verse 11, read me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. Verse 12, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. Any sons in the house today? I said, any sons in the house today? Where are they? Hear this. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. The sons did not say amen. Yeah. Any daughters here today? Where are you? Look at the second part of that verse 12. That our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. That's great. Can I have both the sons and the daughters shouting an amen to heaven? We have a great gathering here today. And you might be wondering, why are you here? Why am I here? Number one, to make. Number two, to mold. Number three, to mend. Number four is to motivate. Number five is to model. Number six is to monitor. Number seven, to mature. We're here for the making of 
and unconquerable youths. We're here for the molding of an unconquerable youth. We're here for the mending. Everything that is wrong in your life, the Lord will mend today. For the mending of unconquerable youths. We're here for the motivating. If you're losing excitement, if your dream is dying, if your passion is growing cold, if the sin inside you that will lift you up is dying, motivation is coming to you, at the end of this day, you will arise again. We're here for the modeling of unconquerable youth. We're here for monitoring, finding out that everyone, where are you now? At what stage are you now? At what level are you now? And to take your hand from there and to lead you to the next step. My boy, you are getting to the next step. My girl there, you are getting to the next step. And we're here for the maturing of unconquerable youths. Turn out today, we're not just here to fill space or just to have a program. We want to have somebody there who is the person to become number one unstoppable. That has to run in every impediment, every hurdle, every challenge, every barrier, the Almighty God will clear out of your way. Number one, unstoppable. Number two, unbendable. You see, there are things in society that are trying to bend your wheel and twist your wheel and turn your wheel to another direction. But from today, you will be unbendable. You see, sometimes somebody has a great vision, a great dream, and he says, I am going to the top. And then somebody comes and he breaks the backbone of his wheel. And now, when the backbone is broken, no matter what you have, no matter what you seek, no matter what, where you wanted to go, now you are paralyzed, but you are going to become from today unbreakable. And sometimes when you say, look at that boy, look at that girl, it's moving to the top. Some people say, I cannot see that. But this one, you will see. Because your victory will become undeniable. The amen is dying down. And then, when they say, who is that at the top? I say, wear your goggles and see. He puts on a specs, spectacle, and he tries to see, and he says, I cannot recognize him, but for you, I said for you, they will recognize you because your victory will be unmistakable. And then as you're running, and somebody said, no, he will not make it. Leave that person with me because after this day, I'll be praying for you. Don't fear anything. I said, what did I say? I'll be praying for you. You are going to become unconquerable. Untouchable, you'll be an achiever. We're here today for the making, for the modeling, for the molding, for the mending, for the motivating, for the monitoring, 
for the maturing of an unstoppable achiever, an unbendable achiever, an unbreakable achiever, an undeniable achiever, an unmistakable achiever, unconquerable achiever, untouchable achiever. Thank God it's going to happen to you. I've read already Psalm 144. There are three things I'm looking at in the making of an achiever, an unstoppable achiever, an unbendable achiever, an unmistakable achiever. In making, in the making of an achiever, unquestionable achiever, we go from step to step and look at the past. I look at the present and I look at the future. At the present, I saw the problems. Why you have not been? While the dream is crumbling, while the ladder is giving way, and while the path to the mountain top is slippery, I see the problem. Number two, by the way, we will clear the problems away. You and I will clean it up. I said, we'll clean it up. The past, I see the problems. Number two, the present, I see the promise. That's a great promise awaiting you today. Where is he? Where is she there? A promise, and it's going to be fulfilled. <laughs> Number three, I say power. Power for achievement. Power, you will make it. Power, it will come to pass. Power, shout power. power. That's their power. Shout the kind of power you want in your life. Three things. Number one, number one, the problem of defeat for trapped youths. The problem of defeat for trapped youths. Some are trapped. They cannot move. They cannot go on. They cannot pick up that life again trapped the problem of defeat for trapped youths number two the promise of deliverance is coming what are you I said it's coming wipe those tears away forget the defeat of the past something new is happening today Something great is happening today. Something supernatural is happening today. The promise of deliverance for transformed youths. Number three now, here is where you come in. You know, you cannot fold your hand, close your eyes, close your mouth, close your ears, sit down in one place, and say, I'll be an achiever. Achievers do something. Achievers dream. Achievers decide. Achievers make up their mind. Achievers are focused. Achievers are going somewhere. When we talk about being unstoppable, you have to be going somewhere for all those things that want to stop you, for them to clear out of the way. And so, number three, the power of decision. Decision by triumphant youths. The power of decision by triumphant youths. Number one, the problem of defeat 
for trapped youths. Come back to that. Psalm 144 verse 11. Read me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. There's a lot there. Why do some youths become vain, empty, visionless, trapped, distracted, wavering, and they cannot get up and move? Why? The problem is abandoned ambition. Abandoned ambition. Before they met the strangers in society, before they met the never do wells in society, before they met people, it's like they had an ambition, an aspiration. I am going there, I am getting there. You can see the sparkle on their faces, and you can see the excitement in their lives. But since now, they got trapped, entangled, encumbered with a lot of distractions. Number one, abandoned ambition. You'll pick up that ambition today. You'll pick up that aspiration today. Number two, number two, broken bridges. You understand? If you're going to go from here across the sea, to the other side you need a bridge and there are people that have broken bridges and because of the broken bridges they still want to go but how can they go there's no bridge again the bridge became destroyed at the foundation i'm talking about bad behavior bad behavior. You know, bad behavior will act like a broken bridge between you and the parents. You cannot get to them again. Bad behavior will become like a broken bridge between you and your teachers, your tutors, your counselors. You cannot get to them again. Bad behavior will be like a broken bridge between you and your sponsors, the people who said they were ready Anywhere you want to get to, anywhere you want to go, we will sponsor you. We will finance you. Bad behavior becomes like broken bridges. Number three, corrupt companions. Corrupt companions. Those are the people that say, what are you doing with books? We can get money another way. What are you doing with going to classes? We can make it another way. And the way they are talking about is uh, the way of evil. They want to steal. They want to endanger their lives. And they want to endanger your life. And these are the problems of the past. That we saw a child running. We saw a girl running. And then all of a sudden, they're slowing down. And they're coming to a final full stop. Not only stopping, they're turning back and they're facing the other direction. Corrupt companions. Number four, dangerous drugs. Dangerous drugs. They think if you're going to be strong, if you're going to be bold, if you're going to be active, if you're going to be a guy, if you're going to be somebody that will threaten other people, join that gang join that gang, and then to do the unthinkable and to do what they will not be able to do in their natural strength, they have to go into those hard drugs, dangerous drugs. That's the problem that has kind of quenched the fire, removed the zeal. Number five, empty examples. There are some people that think Anything you see on the billboard, that that's the example they're going to follow. But you don't understand how empty some of these people are. 
Sometimes we hear of them over the radio and they say, that's my man. They say, that's my kind of lady. I'm going to follow. They don't understand how those people, some of them, maybe not all, in their private lives, they feel empty and they're looking for help and they miss the way and they're going to places that are unthinkable. You don't want to follow them to the shrine. Number six, fleshly filthiness. Fleshly filthiness. Enjoy now and then be destroyed later. Get into the flesh now and then your whole life is frustrated later. The problems the people get into because of number six, fleshly filthiness. Number seven, gambling games. Gambling games. They gamble away on the social media. They gamble away in the games they say they're trying to play. They say it's only a game, but you're gambling. You're gambling with your life. You're gambling with your resources. You're gambling with your intelligence. You're gambling with your future. That's the problem. And once you get into that system of gambling, when do you stop? Number eight, harmful habits. Harmful habits. And once you do something, and you do it again, and you do it again, it's registered on your mind. It's registered in your brain. And now the Lord says, today, we're going to clear everything away. Don't sleep on me. I said we're going to clear everything away. You are going to be different from today. I'm reading from verse 5 of chapter 8 of Zechariah. Verse 5 of chapter 8 of Zechariah. Are you there? Okay, if you are not there, hear me as I read. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. The streets shall be full of boys and girls playing. When you think about it, if we have something to do, play as to step aside. If we have someone to go, play as to step aside. If we have an exam to face, play as to step aside. If there is a dream and I'm running after that dream, play has to But you know what? There are people in the morning, you find them on the streets, they're playing. There's nothing to do. In the afternoon, you find them on the streets, you find them along the bridge, you find them at the seaside, you find them near the picnics, the places of fun and fun fear. That's all they're doing. And they do that from day to day. And I say, what's the problem? What are they thinking that they're going to achieve in their life? They're not thinking of anything. You know the problem? A, abandoned ambition. B, broken up bridges. C, corrupt companions. D, dangerous dogs. E, empty examples. F, fleshly filthiness. G, gambling games. H, harmful habits. Let's wake up. We're going to turn around. I said we're going to turn around. All these problems, we're turning away from them. 
We're canceling them. We're purging them. We're throwing them away. They will not ruin your life. Say, they will not ruin my life. They will not kill my dream. They will not stop me. Ah, you are going to sleep. They will not stop me. Okay, I take you for your word. We're getting them out of your life today. That leads me there to point number two. Point number two, the promise of deliverance. The promise of deliverance for who? Who is having deliverance today? Who is having total deliverance today? Praise the Lord. I'm talking about you now. I said I'm talking about you now. I said chapter 43. I said chapter 43. And I'm reading from verse 6. I said chapter 43. And I'm reading from verse 6. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar. And my daughters from the ends of the earth. Are the sons still there? Look at that. I will bring my sons from afar. No matter how far you have gone in defeat, you are coming back. No matter who held you down. No matter who slowed you down. No matter who threatened and said, you are finished, we're finishing you. We give them the lie. I said we give them the lie. Your enemies shall be liars. Your oppressors shall be liars. Because a new thing is happening today. Bring my sons from afar. And are the daughters there? Let me see your faces. Let me see your hands. Look at this. And bring the daughters from the ends of the earth. Look at verse 7. Everyone, all the boys, everyone, all the girls that is called by my name. For I have created him, I have created her for my glory. Shame out of your life. Disgrace out of your life. Defeat out of your life. Crying out of your life. Failure out of your life. You will glorify God. Your life will glorify God. Your education will glorify God. Your lifestyle will glorify God. He says, I have created him, I've created her for my glory. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Verse 18. Verse 18. Remember ye not former six. Now you can forget the past tears. Now you can forget the past defeat. I said you can forget them. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, behold, behold in your life, in your education, in your career, in your health, in your victory, in your success. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now, when? Now. I said, when is your miracle? Now. I said, when are you going to be lifted up? Now. It shall spring forth. Shall ye not know each? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. What's the promise? H. This is I now. Immediate improvement. Immediate improvement. You know, 
things are going to change from this very day from this very hour number 10 joyful justification joyful justification you know in the past you were condemned in the past you were guilty in the past it appears it's a bad boy leave him alone it's a grumbling girl leave her alone but now justification the lord will forgive you the lord will cleanse your life he will justify you and put the joy of justification in your life in jesus name 11 kindled kindness people will see you they feel kind towards you i said people will see you they'll ask you what's the problem why well, you're out of school why have you not gone to an institution and you say this is a problem this is a problem kindness will be kindled in their hearts they'll say come and then that place they lead you you will climb up the stairs 12 liberated life the lord is going to liberate you he liberates your life from everything that is holding you down even from today in jesus name m this number 13 mighty miracle what kind of miracle are you having today I said, what kind of miracle are you having today? Healing is going to be mighty. Deliverance is going to be mighty. New life is going to be mighty. New strength is going to be mighty. The anointing that comes upon your life today to set you free will be mighty in Jesus' name. And number 14 is new nature. New nature. The nature of going down thinking down depression discouragement despair regret hands are down shoulders are down hey a new thing has come today i said a new thing has come today a new nature for every one of you in jesus name 15 oh is open door opportunities all the doors that were closed and locked before thank god the doors are open multiple doors are open you can go out through there you will find what you are looking for you can go out through there you will discover what you have been searching for you can go out through that place and you're going to find riches waiting for you in Jesus' name. P, number 16, prevailing prayer. All the prayers you had prayed that were not answered, answer has come for you today. Answer has come for me today. Say it for yourself. Answer has come for me today. 17 Q quick qualification. Quick qualification. Quick qualification. My classmates are far ahead. You'll catch up. My classmates have gone far. You will catch up. The Lord is going to quicken your step. He's going to double your steps. And that's it. You're saying, you know, my problem is when I read, I don't understand. He will touch your IQ. Intelligence quotient. What helps us to understand? What helps us to grab it? What helps us to take it? Miraculously. It's imparted into you today in Jesus' name quick qualification now you see the promise the lord has given us and he says i will do a new thing i see it coming on you there i said i see it coming on you there i will do a new thing a new thing is starting from today you cannot escape it 
You came here today, you are getting it today. I come to number three now. Point number three now. You see, here is the point of decision. There's every blessing available for everyone. And you will not be missed out. I will get. I will receive. Today is my day. I have the power today. It will be done. I said it will be done. Point number three, the power of decision for, trans for triumphant youths. The power of decision for triumphant youths. I'm coming to second Corinthians chapter six, verses 17 and 18. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17 and 18. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Look at this. And I will be a father unto you. And ye shall be, tell me, my sons, and the sons still in the house, child of God, sons of God. And because God becomes your father, any messenger of Satan dare not touch you. Anybody that is saint, stay by the way. That, man, that young man is coming. That sun is coming. Before you get there, angels will come and clear them away from that place. They shall be my sons and and are you there? Your name is here. I said your name is here. They'll be my sons They'll be my daughters. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? All these scriptures we have been reading together contain the son, the daughter, the boy, the girl, the son, the daughter. There's victory for everyone. There is a divine blessing for everyone. It says, it shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord Almighty. But you know, you have to take a decision. What kind of decision are relevant repentance? Relevant repentance. That word relevant is very important. You know, there are people that say, I repent the sin of my father, the sin of my mother, the sin of my great great grandfather, the sin of the government, the sin of the school. The sin of society, that's not relevant. That's not relevant. Don't bring them in. This one is you. And the Lord is going to bless you today. And you're not going to, you're not accusing grandfather, grandmother, or anybody, or government, anybody. It is me. It is me. It is me. In the need of prayer, in the need of this blessing we're talking about, are relevant repentance. 19 now, S, sincere surrender. I surrender my life to Christ. Let him remake me. Let him remold me. Let him refashion me. Let him do that new thing he wants to do. I am not holding back anything from the Lord. Sincere surrender. 20, that is T. Truthful trust. Truthful trust. Tenacious trust. I trust him. I'll not trust idols. I trust him. I'll not trust um, dark powers. I trust him. I will not trust any creature. I trust him. He alone will be my savior. Truthful trust. 
21 is you. Unwavering urgency. Unwavering urgency. You know, there are people, they say, okay, I'll repent. Okay, I'll come to the Lord, but I'll still go back and have you not suffered enough? It is urgent. Miracle is waiting for you and you're delaying miracle. You will do it today. Give me a good amen there. Unwavering urgency. 22 is V. Vital vigilance. Vital vigilance. You are getting something here today. Nothing will take away from you. You are making up your mind today. A decision you are making today, nobody will take it away from you. A new life is starting today. And this new life, nothing will come to rubbish it again in your life in Jesus' name. But you must be vigilant. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The more abundant life is coming to you today. But as vital vigilance, nobody will take this one away from you. Give me a good, good amen. 23, W, weekly worship. Weekly worship. You see, we need to renew our commitments every week before the Lord. And we need to review the promises of the Lord for us every week. We need the remodeling and the remaking and the restoration and the rejuvenation and the quickening. We need that every time so that this fire that is kindled today will not die off. Weekly worship. You find a place where they're serving God in truth and where they believe the Bible and where you're encouraged to move on and to live a righteous life. And you have weekly worship. Number 24 is X. And this one, you need to understand. Say, I will understand. Because you know from now, there's no more riddle for you. There's no more confusion for you. I was waiting for you to say amen, somebody in front of me then. X, X. X, that's capital X. And then X, that's little X. You see, what does that mean? Uh-huh, I told you now. X, that's the Roman letter for, tell me, tell me, 10. X, that means 10. Capital. The next X is extra. 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 Somebody tell me extra. You know what? The people who go beyond expectation. They're the people that go the extra mile. Anything they do, they don't stop at what is required. They say extra mile. The people that make it, they're the people that have extra reading. The people that pass with distinction, they're the people that have extra study. The people that give life something and then we can pay back to them they're the people that give us extra measure the people that master any subject they're the people that have extra practice they're not the people that say i understand i understand teacher that's enough i understand extra practice the people 
that have friends, good friends, that they say, this person will add something to my life. They're the people that have extra gentleness. The people that never fight. And the people, whatever you do, they're just looking and they're just waiting. And you have a broad smile on their faces. They are the people that have extra patience. And the people that now they're used to work. And they're not a kind of, you know, a long time to work. You know what has made them like that? They're used to having extra hard work. Extra hard work. And the people that you can never get them to go where they don't want to go. You can never get them to do what they don't want to do. You can never get them to submit their lives to what they don't want to submit their lives. You know those people, they're the people that have extra self-discipline. X, X, 10 extra. Number one, extra mile. Number two, extra measure. Number three, extra minutes. Number four, extra practice. Number five, extra time. Number six, extra study. Number seven, extra gentleness. Number eight, extra patience. Number nine, extra hard work. Number 10, extra self-discipline. It's you. X, X, I said it's you. What are you? You will make it. Now, number 25, why yielded yokes? Yielded yokes. You know, there are times you have ignorantly gotten into a yoke with a gang, with a, with a secret cult, with powers of darkness, and you bound yourself. You stretch out your neck, and they put the yoke of darkness upon you. And now you've been carrying that about. Now you are going to yield that to the Lord today. He will take your yokes away. And they will say, ah, if you give up that yoke, we will. They cannot finish that sentence. The Lord will not allow them to finish that sentence. They cannot touch you again. I can't hear you. Behold, I give unto you power over all the power of your enemy. And power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And then you will march on them. You will destroy them. And over all the powers of all enemies around you and beyond you. And nothing shall by enemies touch you. Amen. Yielded yokes. Now the last one says, Have you found something on the street? They mark them like this, like zebra marks. And sometimes you find somebody, a boy and a girl in the past, they go like this, they don't catch anything, go like this, they don't catch anything, go like that, they don't catch anything, they go zigzag, 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 they're sweating, they're getting nowhere. They're spending time, they're getting nowhere. They're laboring. They're getting nowhere. They're catching this. It eludes them. Then they go for this, and they cannot catch. They go zigzag, zigzag. Today, zigzag, zipped. Zipped. Your life will be straightforward. All the going up and down, getting nothing is stopping today. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Now you stand. Now you stay. Now you look at the direction you want to go. And then the boys will say, Come this way. Uh -uh, that one, that one is zit. They say, Come this way. That one is zit. 
Now you are going to walk on a straight line. The shortest distance between two points. You're going from here, you are getting there. All the roaming about, all the meandering, everything stops today. I'm going there, you get there. I'm achieving this, you achieve it. I am running to that place, every, every stumbling block is cleared out of your way. I am getting there. You are getting somewhere. I said you are getting somewhere. I will see your name in the book of who is who in this country. I will see your picture in the papers, important papers in this land in Jesus' name. I'll be looking for you. I said I'll be looking for you. I said I'll be looking for you. Because all that meandering, everything is over. All that indecision, everything is over. All that I cannot, I cannot, is taken away from your dictionary today. Impossible, impossible. Daddy never did it. Mommy never did it. Grandparents never did it. My friends never did it. But you will do it. And it is for the boy of decision. It's for the girl of decision. The one that says, I zip that road. That is zigzag. I'm not going to go forward on a straight journey. What are you? I said, where are you? If you're going to be a boy of decision, if you're going to be a girl of decision, and you're going to hand over that life unto Christ today, and you're saying, Lord, count on me, count on me, count on me, you're going to do something definite, you're going to do something important, you're going to do something unforgettable in my life, heads bowed and eyes closed, heads bowed and eyes closed. I'm talking to you now, you must be, this is your moment, and this is the time when nothing should distract your attention, when it is you and you alone with the Almighty God, and you are saying, Oh Lord, here am I today. Oh Lord, here am I today. I make up my mind. I make up my mind. I make up my mind. Relevant repentance. I make up my mind. Sincere surrender. I make up my mind. Truthful, tenacious trust. I make up my mind as a matter of unwavering urgency. I make up my mind as a matter of vital vigilance. I make up my mind. I'll worship you. I'll worship you. I'll worship you. I make up my mind and then 10 extra, 10 extra, 10 extra. I will spend extra time, extra effort, extra thing. And then all the yokes in my life, I hand over to Jesus and the life that is wasted. Going here and there and getting nothing. I see that thing right now. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you're making up your mind now that this is your day, a day of change, a day of transformation, a day of salvation, a day of justification, a day when you say, God, I surrender myself to you and I'm going to do well in life. Where are you? Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. You are there and you're saying, yes, Lord, here am I. Where are you? Where, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Downstairs here at the gallery there, at the gallery, at the gallery there, outside, anywhere you are. I'm a boy of decision and I turn away from evil and I turn away from anything that will stop me from making it in life. I turn away from all the wasted life, bad behavior, corrupt companions, dangerous drugs. I turn away, I turn away from all the evil examples. I turn away from the fleshly filthiness. I turn away from the gambling games, and I turn away from the harmful habits where you raise up your hand. If you're raising up your hand, God bless you there, God bless you there. You stand up wherever you are. You stand up wherever you are. You're saying, yes, Lord. You're saying yes to Jesus. Where are you? Stand up wherever you are. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Over there, thank God. Thank God for you there. Your life will not be wasted again. You're saying, yes, today is my day of early to repentance. Where are you? Raise up your hand and stand up. If you're standing up, can you wave that hand at me now? Wave that hand. You're happy. You're happy. Wave that hand at me now. God bless you. I'm praying with you now, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I bring every boy and every girl that stands up now and they say they repent and turn away from everything that is evil. Lord Jesus, 
come into their hearts come into their lives that promise of a mighty change and transformation you have promised give it to them in Jesus name do something wonderful something unforgettable something justifying do it in their lives in Jesus name and I pray Lord you cleanse all their sins away give them the joy of salvation the victory of salvation and give them Lord a turning around a turning point even today and do great 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 things in every one of their lives thank you father because I know you have answered in Jesus name I pray and all the victorious children of God say keep on standing keep on standing the rest of you sitting down you stand up in your heart but keep on sitting down so there's no confusion I'm praying for you now something is happening right now in your life a new thing a new dream a new life a new strength a new power a new protection a new achievement this is your time this is your time to become unstoppable unconquerable unmistakable where are you father in Jesus name I pray everyone that hear the sound of my voice now, let your power of preach in every one of their lives in Jesus' name. Sickness will not stop you. Problems will not stop you. Finance will not stop you. People will not stop you. Dull brain will not stop you. Past speech will not stop you. Discouragement will not stop you. Despair will not stop you. Evil spirit will not stop you. Arise and succeed. Arise and overcome. Arise and take your blessing. Arise and have your victory. Arise and be bold. Arise and be fearless. Arise and be an achiever. And the spirit of the conqueror come inside your heart right now. Lord, confirm your blessing upon everyone. Every boy, every girl, confirm your blessing upon everyone in Jesus' name. Let the mighty hand of the Almighty come from heaven and lift everyone up. Go to the next step. Go to the next level. Go to the next dream. The new thing has begun in your life right now. I will see you at the top. In Jesus' name we pray. Those that got up to experience salvation, you keep standing. Our brethren are around you. They'll give you a slip. Kindly fill all the details. 